Thank you, Mr. President. As we were not able to interactively discuss discrimination against women, we use this possibility to bring up the issue. In the Islamic Republic of Iran, yet not a party of SIDA, despite many recommendations, women are systematically deprived of their rights to use public and private spaces, such as watching sport matches in stadiums and practicing Zumba in women fitness club. To be in public decision-making positions, such as president of the country or the board of the parliament, they are even deprived from the right to decide about their own bodies. Mr. President, no belief or culture can justify that a woman needs the allowance of her husband for a uterus surgery. Women who are married in Iran need the allowance of their husband to study, to take a job, and to travel. And this is one of the reasons why many educated women don't like to marry at all. Mrs. Zahra Nemati, Olympic and Paralympic usher of Iran and one of the victims of travel ban by her husband is known to many of you in this council as in March she was exceptionally allowed to leave the country to take part in, the, in Iran's delegation to the Committee on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities. Not every woman under travel ban is so lucky. The above issues and many other discriminative behavior and laws against women are not cultural diversity but pure oppression of women in patriarchal society which can and must be stopped with the help of this Council and other international institutes. Thank you, Mr. President. International.